Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, July the 18th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is the collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, you can use the code below for 20% discount. It's the VIP appreciation discount, and you're all VIPs to me. You're all very important, and I thank you so much for everything that you guys do as far as watching and responding and interacting in this energy. Thank you for the support in that positive way. So I look forward to seeing you. I hope you can use this discount to book a reading. Let's see what the cards have to say for us for this beautiful day. We have... So relax is over here on the top. I wondered what that was coming up for. And there it is it's saying we have to unclench, re reset, restore, renew. That means we have to do some self-care. And literally there's time, you know, there's a time to in to turn the energy to where it's coming in to us rather than spending all of our energy looking out. And this is that moment. Take a breath, reset, shake off the crazy and get yourself back together so you're ready to take advantage of what comes to you and then we have the energy of the judgment card which is something you thought was off the table that's now coming back around now this could be a job that you thought you wanted and it could be in a completely different place than you originally thought but it's that kind of energy it doesn't have to be exactly the situation that you thought was gone it could be something a variation of it right so here it comes, knocking back at the door, and we'll see what that entails. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Well, we like that, the closure of the... Feeling of under attack or being bombarded by negativity. That's why it's telling us, give us a, give us a minute to, to recover, um, reset yourself. That taking away all that, the target on your back is, is a really wonderful thing. It means that cycle has ended. You're no longer being hammered by that toxic energy. 10 is always a good thing. It means that door is closing and you get to restart. And it is definitely telling you to reset that. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So it looks like we have four cards out. The, the first one was the strength card. You know, that's going there. And then we have our other three that came out together. And the strength card is that Leo major arcana as well. So, ooh, very nice. The balance energy of the justice card, meaning right decisions being made by you and for you. And it is stability that we are looking for because we are focusing on our best possible outcome. And that's part of the, the reset that we're having is to allow the balance to come back so that we can flow easily in the, in the direction we're trying to accomplish and achieve things. We have relax. Um, this is a very important thing. That's why that four of swords kept showing itself because it is time to unclench. Uh, give ourselves a, 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 a little boost of energy. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. And Lord knows there's enough of that to go around. We don't need extra. So release uh, that, that, that feeling of being uh, withdrawn or pulled in tight. Relax and allow yourself to be in the flow. Um, you, worrying does not do a daggone thing to solve a problem. It only makes you have anxiety. We have generosity. Generosity is important. This card is going to talk about in when in the words it talks about money being being a thing that you have to allow yourself to be generous with, but you can be generous with anything of value. You can be generous with your time. You can be generous with your attention. You can be generous with your knowledge. It's really important to be able to do that because that's kind of the whole purpose of of us all being here together is to 
learn from each other and support each other. Good, bad, or indifferent, right? Now, money is positive energy and it allows me to be generous to others. That's the real thing. We reason why this is the first thing that comes out. Money is positive energy is because a lot of people believe it's not. And therefore, when you believe it's uh, tied to something negative, then you start to reject the flow of money. And none of us want to do that. We like for that to come our direction. That is the the body of exchange in this in this realm, in this 3D realm that as currently as we exist. Money is the is the currency. Communicate clearly. It's really important to remember what we say matters and the universe is always listening. So make sure that you speak with intention. That's the best way to put it. Uh, we don't want to micromanage uh, each other in it, but we do support each other in trying to stay positive. That's what my whole a relentless optimistic uh, mission is about. So um, that's that's really it. You have to watch yourself and not because, you know, we're geared. It's like our automatic drive is geared toward negative. So we have to make an effort to create positive frequencies in our lives. We have the, the crown chakra, which is the energy of focus and where we get our information and downloads and understanding. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. So just know that you are the catalyst. When you put that positive intention out and you stop and you reword something in a way that you communicate it as positively as possible, you've literally changed the whole tone of the intention and vibration. So it's really a good thing. We have rainbow. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon, exclamation point. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed, another exclamation point. So beautiful energy of blessings. And that rainbow energy is the highest frequency of light because it's every every color moving in the energy means you're fully radiant. Compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender all self-criticism and fear that has you believing that you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your negative perceptions. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. This is the truth. You don't need to be perfect. This is this is the world of where imperfections are rampant. You don't have to try to be a perfect being. You just have to allow yourself to stay in the most positive alignment for whatever's going on for you. We all experience the negative side of life, but we can't live there if we want to continue to, to try to thrive. Now, there's the courage card or the strength card. This is the energy of the Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God. It's also the Leo Major Arcana. And this is walking you toward your path, es escorting you toward your goal, down your path, moving you in the energy of of protection and keeping things from distracting you and pulling you off your mission and the activation of something taking root and catalyzing kicking into gear the light switches on as the ace of wands is activated and that is the energy of action and developing something into being it's it's now taking taking solid root and making progress so it's taken hold and the knight's going to make sure it, it is actually moving because that's a very fast moving energy the knight of wands so as soon as it locks into place you're on the move in the right direction so very very quick prompting as soon as this comes in you're ready to go hello and we've got the star card which is the energy of your soul's desire being granted it is the aquarius major arcana and it's the energy of being absolutely in the right vibrational frequency to attain what your next steps are and to move on your path so it's all beautiful alignment where actions coming in the right direction is focused you're in balance and you have the ability to use your own focus 
to create your best possible life now. Please take an opportunity to center yourself and allow yourself to breathe that in and receive it in your heart. And so it is. Many blessings to you all. I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. Namaste, my friends.